What have they told you that I stole? <laughs> you know what? Um, I didn't have to steal anything. Paul was a sweetheart. I'm talking about Paul, who's a consulting producer on our show, one of the Heineck sons. The first time I met him in person, he was really sweet, and he brought this pin that his mom actually wore a brooch, and it has some turquoise in it. And I actually wore it in the show last year. That was really special and really lovely. And he also brought this little um, wooden kind of totem pole that I keep in my kitchen, and I think of Mimi when I'm cooking. So uh, I do have those, which are nice. I think they're both really great guys. Alan is the most honest man I have ever known. I have to admit, I haven't seen a ga Game of Thrones and I haven't seen Aiden play Littlefinger, but I did that on purpose. Everyone was like, oh, I'll go watch Game of Thrones when I got the job. I don't want to see my husband like that. Are you kidding me? With everything we've been through, I think I'm just looking for answers. We both are. But he is a fantastic actor. He is absolutely perfect to play Heineck. Uh, he's a lovely, genuine guy, so I really lucked out with him. So I guess that means we're back in business. Yes, we are, Professor. And obviously, Michael Malarkey is a fantastic actor as well from the Vampire Diaries, and he is perfect for this character and that effortlessly cool kind of guy. You've all heard the story about what happened in the woods that night. Spaceship crashing, aliens taking over the world. And really has done some beautiful work as well. There's definitely a few. OK, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> but you don't want to hear about the, like, the real heartaches. I have a fun one for you. I have to admit, the first year whenever Mimi drove, it didn't happen a lot. She was pushed in. She was just pushed in. She wasn't really driving, so I was a little bit of a, a fake in that term. And so when I found out this year that Mimi was going to go on a bit of a road trip, I was really excited, and I had time. So I got to learn how to drive the uh, Heineck car, the beautiful 1953 Buick. And her nickname is Amy. She was named after Amy Adams because she drove it in Big Eyes, the Tim Burton's movie. So most people would be really excited about this. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to crash Amy and all her beautiful memories. <laughs> I might be fired from the show. Like, why couldn't they just give me an easy, simple car? But um, yeah, I now know how to drive standard. Uh, what is it called? A three in the tree? Pretty good at that. I'm not sure that's entirely accurate. Is that right? I didn't. It's not. There's four to the floor, and then there's three in the th in the tree. I think. Make sure to watch Project Blue Book Tuesdays at ten on History. We're part of a civilian UFO group, and we're trying to get to the truth, so we can tell the world what really happened here. <laughs>